Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be going the monthly free assets for March 2021. So this month we've got another 5 amazing free assets and these ones are the advanced vehicle system, the turn based JRPG template, the hack and slash visual effects, the medieval castle modular pack volume 1 and then also an office scene. So again these are great, we've got vehicles, we've got visual effects, so Niagara system, particle spawners, we've got models and we've also got pretty much a full game template which you can adapt to make it perfect and suitable for you and stylized for your own likings. So again this is what we've got this month, even if you don't think you'd use it now I'd recommend still claiming it because then you can use it in the future and save yourself quite a bit of money. So without further ado let's get into the video. So the first one we're going to be going over is the advanced vehicle system. And as you can see here we have this menu with different controls on after getting into the tester project and these are all the different controls we can actually do and mess about with. So there's lots of different stuff, for example the menu, enter and exit the vehicle, hitch the trailer, detach all the wheels or random wheels, we can fix the vehicle if we flip it upside down, turn the engine on and off, headlights, blinkers, we have rocket boosts, we can manually change up and down gears, shift up and down when in the air, and we can also reset the camera. So like I say in this, we have a menu in which we can spawn in vehicles, so let's have a look now. We can get in, we have this menu, we can also go into spectator mode, so just fly around, go anywhere we want quickly, or just watch everything happen. Now if we spawn in a vehicle, so let's hit spawn new vehicle, we can then have this massive list of different vehicles that we have. So let's spawn in this compactor, you can see it just spawned in straight away. You can press E to get into it, and you can see we have this here. Nice sound effects, visual effects of the steam, and then we can also drive it around and it handles really well and feels great. It doesn't feel floppy about or anything like that like it sometimes does if you make your own. And we also have another one here which is a rocket car I believe it was called and this can go very fast so this isn't a very good driving example however it does show how fast it can go and good stuff like that and again on this grass part here I'm going to be going over the physics part because this is a physics vehicle system and so this here is how it's physics related. So I'll go over some more of the features here, so we have the physics based arcade vehicle, fully network replicated so you can use this online and multiplayer as well, We've got arcade style engine model, it's got a simple sliding pillar suspension model, you have automatic and manual transitions, there is no clutch input however, you have wheel locking based on brake pressure and handbrake, it supports both static and skeletal mesh vehicles and it's got built in functionality for detaching and reattaching wheels out of runtime. And we have seven user facing blueprints and we have 20 in total. We have three different C++ classes. So again, if you know C++, this is great for that as well. Like I said, this is network replicated, so it works in multiplayer. They've only tested it on Windows 10 64 bit. However, it's supported target build is all platforms. As you can see here, this is an example of flipping it. So if I just go over here and flip it upside down, I'm gonna press Z to flip it back the right way around in case you ever get stuck anywhere. So now let's spawn in some bots as well. So you can see here I've ticked the spawn bot, I'm just spawning in a load of vehicles. Now I'm not entirely sure what they were doing, I assume probably just going to 000, and there's probably a way in which I can set where they can go when spawning them, however I didn't look into that one too much, I just showed that you can spawn in bots and it will drive around. But as you can see as well, when they're crashing there is also a sound effect of them crashing as well. Now let's get into a much more faster vehicle and let's just go flying again testing out more of the physics. We can just fly quite a bit like that and as you see as well we can now detach our wheels and detach them fully as well so that was a random one and this is all of them and also as we landed you may have seen that we had some skid marks on the floor so as the wheels go around a tight corner or too fast or the braking we get skid marks as well. Now again let's just go down this ramp really fast and test out some of the physics. So I think that'll be it for the advanced vehicle one, as this was quite a long overview, I had a bit of fun just messing about with this, just driving around all the different vehicles, and again, absolutely great pack, which I'd definitely recommend getting. And next up, we've got the turn-based JRPG template. So in this, like I said, it's essentially a full JRPG game, which again, is a template, so you can adapt this to get it perfect for you, but the base core fundamentals of it are here for you to work with. And this is all 100% blueprints as well, so anybody can get in and mess about with it and change it. It's got dynamic cameras, it's supportive and offensive skills, you've got buffs and debuffs, equipment system, 
it shows 3D equipment mesh on the player units. You've got a quest system, a crafting system, usable items, boss fights, save and load features, buying and selling items, mobile and console support, and it's also compatible with a Conversation 2D plugin. As you see here, I'm just going through a basic fight scene in which you can have different skills, just basic attacks, fleeing, using items where you have revive, health, mana potions, and good stuff like that. And here, let's get into another battle. These ones were much easier to defeat. I one-shot all of them perfectly easy, like so. Actually, here, we can also heal our players. Now, let's get into a boss fight, which I'm 100% not prepared for, as I've only defeated two fights. However, let's get into it. Again, basic boss fight example here. It's very easy to do. And again, it looks great as well. And as you see, it's all turn-based. Again, didn't defeat the boss. However, we also have a main menu, and again, here is the load and save feature. Now we've got the hack and slash visual effects. So this includes 10 unique effects of slashes and impacts, mesh-based slashes, so not the anim troll, and it's made using Niagara, which again is a very powerful system in Unreal. We have CPU, GPU, and mesh emitters. We have 10 different effects. There are no LODs, however, 89 different materials, 80 textures, 14 unique meshes, the texture resolution of 512 by 512 and 1024 by 1024 is supported on PC, mobile and consoles and in Windows. You do need to make sure that you have the Niagara plugin enabled. It includes one blueprint example of spawning effect during the animation by using an anim notify state. So it's very easy to do and they've given you an example too. Now we've got the Medieval Castle Modular Volume 1 pack and I love modular asset packs because it allows you to just make your own kind of scene using the assets that they provide. So we have 309 different modular assets, 9 pre-made enclosure walls, 5 foliage assets, and they include LODs and collisions. We have a wide variety of different texture sizes for all of your needs of whichever kind of game you're making or whichever kind of textures you want. And we do have automatically and some custom collisions. And again, there are LODs, there's up to 4 LODs, 323 meshes, 8 materials and 20 material instances, 62 textures, and it works on PC, Mac, Linux, PS4, and Xbox One. And again, this is absolutely great because it allows many people to use the same pack, however get very different results, and everything can look completely different and unique for you because you're in control of what it will look like in the end result. And I think there is a wide variety here of different stuff to choose from, and again, we have the landscape, the trees, the castle, all of this good stuff for you to be able to make whatever kind of game you want with your medieval castle. So again, this one's a fairly long overview, however there's a lot of different stuff to cover in this one, because again, it provides so much for you. And here is just an overview of all the different modular assets that we have here for you to be able to use. So again, this is how customizable it is to get whatever you'd like to see. So again, this was the Medieval Castle Modular Volume 1 pack, absolutely great. And next up, we've got the office scene. This is quite a basic, just general office that you have. However, it looks great and you can use it for any purpose you want. This includes 45 high quality office objects that you can use in your projects. So for some examples, we have 13 books, we have cabinets, lamps, a desk, pencils, chairs, paintings, walls, windows, all of this good stuff which again you can use to get perfectly whatever you like in your game and you don't even need to use all of them. You can get this and just use the chair or just use the painting, anything like that. Again, this is why modular stuff is great because you can just pick and choose what you want and get it to look how you want as well. So that's it for this month's free assets for March 2021. Again, five free different amazing things. Once again, we've got the office, the medieval castle, hack and slash visual effects, turn-based JRPG, and the advanced vehicle system. So a lot of money to be saved for you here and to utilize these amazingly in your own projects as well. So I definitely recommend getting these even if you don't think you're gonna use them now. So I think my favorite one for this month is obviously gotta be the advanced vehicle system, just because of how much it gives you and how much variety there is and how good it all is as well. With all of the different physics it being replicated already, the amount of cars it includes in there as well and how easy it is to just use and adapt upon as well. 
So that's my favourite. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite one was for this month. I can imagine everyone has different opinions on which one their favourite is. So again, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful to just get my kind of opinion and overview of what the different assets are for this month. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.